What's up guys, 11.36 in the afternoon, getting a later start to today than I would like. There was a whole bunch of messages and emails that we had to get answered today, and then just some quote requests, so a lot of computer work that we had to get done this morning. So we haven't had the chance to get our DTF printer started today, so I gotta get them going. Uh, turn on DTF printer number one, and we also gotta get DTF printer number two turned on because it's just gonna be one of those days. I took a look at the order queue and um, we do have a busy day today based on the orders that came in over the weekend. So if you guys are new here and don't know how things work, uh, my name is Alex. I am the owner of AMS Transfers. We are a custom screen print and DTF transfer supplier located in Houston, Texas. And we offer a one business day turnaround time. The computer actually is off, so that's why it's not coming on. Uh, we offer a one business day turnaround time on our custom DTF transfers. So that means all of the orders that got placed over the weekend and on Friday have to get shipped out today or else then we have to uh, give our customers a 10% refund as per our guarantee. So we have a busy day today. A lot of orders came in over the weekend and there is probably like a quarter of them that are pretty high value orders and we gotta make sure that we get those printed so that we can get them shipped today. And um, yeah, it's not the greatest that we're getting the late start that we are today, but like I said, we had a super busy morning getting out these quote requests. The holiday season is in full swing here. Um, let me know if you guys are also seeing the holiday rush in your shop or what, because it's been crazy here. Uh, and we're really only <laughs> at the beginning. We still have the ramp of it all coming up with um, Christmas around the corner and, and everything, man. I can't believe the year is almost over. It feels like it just started and just the other day we were like doing our halfway goals and reassessment, crazy. All right guys, so just taking a look at the system today, looking at all of the orders that came in over the weekend, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten orders that have to go out today, and of those ten, two, three, four, five, five of them are over $400, so they're going to be Pretty long files, um, but like I said, we got both of the printers up and running today. Um, we're gonna need them to try and have any chance of getting out of here before UPS closes and getting all of these packages dropped off. So um, I'm not gonna lollygag anymore. I'm gonna get these uh, designs all downloaded and start working on them. What uh, sucks too, kind of, is that two of the orders that have to go out today are going to be our screen print transfers, not the DTF transfers. So I got to get all, the, the DT, get all of the DTF transfers um, ripped and loaded onto the printer so that we can start printing those. And then while they're printing, I can go ahead and hop onto the screen printing press and bang out those uh, orders. They're pretty, um, like, relatively small. Uh, the screen printing one is 50 sheets on that one, and then the other one is um, 18 sheets. So yeah, relatively small orders on the screen printing, that'll be helpful. But yeah, guys, let's get started. So gonna start uh, downloading all of the d customer designs and uh, ripping them in Digital Factory. Okay, guys, got both of the files all ripped. The first file is just about to finish printing and then I can start ripping the second one, but that one is queued and waiting. Uh, both of the DTF printers I have loaded with film and ready to go. I still have to run a uh, head cleaning on this one right here, but the one that you see over here, I already have uh, the head cleaning running. Got the film all ran through the dryer and connected to the printer. Um, so this one actually just finished up its head cleaning, which means that I can go ahead and start a nozzle check on that printer to see what the status of the nozzles is. So I'm just going to come over here to print XP and click the button that says check and that will print uh, a color bar with um, a nozzle check that will allow me to see if any of the channels are not working properly. So what you can see here is this one is supposed to be yellow. So it should be magenta, yellow, cyan, black, black, cyan, yellow, magenta. Uh, so it looks like my yellow channel is a little off. Um, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that this is pretty common with the capping solution that we use. The capping solution kind of can cause the channels to blend in a little bit. I'm pretty zoomed in. Um, so to do, to fix this, what we typically do is load ink. Um, 
So that's what I just started now. Loading ink basically just pulls ink through the ink lines and uh, forces it through the nozzle kind of to, um, what it's designed for is to pull the ink through the lines when you first get your printer. However, it's also really good for um, things like this when you got yellow not uh, actually printing and you just want to really flush the lines to get any of that nasty stuff that might have built up over the weekend out of there. So you don't usually have to run it for the whole 60 seconds. I think I'm going to let it stop at 35 seconds and then we'll do another head cleaning and see where we're at. I should be done with the file. I am. So now I can start the second file, get that guy st saved and um, I'm going to start the head cleaning on DTF printer number one and I'll check back in with an update once we got these guys up and running. Okay guys, time currently is 12.58. Got both of the DTF printers up and running. Getting number two up was a lot easier than number one. Just had to run two head cleanings on this one, not even load ink. Um, so that is great. Everything is going well so far. Um, we got a long day of printing ahead of us, probably at least two to three hours for each printer. Uh, number one has the longer of the two jobs. Uh, number one is like 900 inches and then number two is only 775 inches. So uh, hopefully we can finish up by four um, and we can get some of the orders packaged up before our UPS guy comes to do his pickup. But I'm pretty sure I already know that today we're gonna have to make a drop at the UPS store just because um, we're gonna have packages that we're ready after our UPS guy comes, which is typically around 3.30 each day. So we'll see what we get done before that, but uh, we're gonna let these guys run for the majority of the time, making sure everything uh, goes well with them. Just come and check on them, make sure that they have powder, make sure that everything is printing right, but uh, for the most part, they're gonna be on their own, printing, making us some money. Love to see it. All right, guys, time is 1.31 right now. Um, there is like 30 more messages that I have to answer that came in on Etsy, um, but I am trying to weigh what I need to do right now. We need to reclaim some screens because I don't have enough screens to get me through all of the orders that we have to print today. Like I said, we have two screen printing. One of them we already have burned, but then we have another order that requires one more screen. Um, so I gotta burn it, or I gotta reclaim at least one screen. Uh, but I think while I'm doing it, I'll just go ahead and knock out like three screens that will hopefully give me a few more than I need and uh, maybe last me through the rest of the week. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, trying to figure out which is the most uh, pressing priority right now, either trying to like bring some money and get some sales by answering the Etsy messages or whether I should uh, try and get this done so that we can be better prepared for the week going ahead. Um, I think what I'm going to do real quick is just get these screens reclaimed and then I can answer the messages right after that. Three, three screens to reclaim shouldn't take me too long. Um, poured a cup of coffee so hopefully this will give you the energy to uh, buzz through them real quick. But that's what I got going on right now. Uh, DTF printers are still running well and uh, haven't ran into any problems thankfully, knock on wood. But uh, yeah guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these screens reclaimed. I'll check them with you guys in the next update.